Yes, I've got John O'Shea with me. John, welcome to Hong Kong. Uh, how's Bow Creek? Yeah, he's in as good order as he can be, Edward. Um, <coughs> obviously, you know, he's a six-year-old entire that um, he needs a few things to go his way on the day, but uh, he's in very, very good order. And if he uh, gets the right sort of surface on Sunday, I'm sure he'll be competitive. What's it been like training him? Of course, he came over from the UK. What have you learned about the horse since he took over the training at Bow Creek? Oh, look, it, all those things. You know, he just he loves to sort of be able to suck up into a race and, and spring on him late. Um, and uh, he just loves that little, you know, not ground where you're getting your toe in. You're picking sort of, he likes it when the teeth are rattling. So it's probably not going to be like that on Saturday, but as long as it's a very good surface here, and that's one of the reasons we wanted to bring him. He seems to miss the start in a number of his races. Is that a concern for you? No, he, he, he's just a bit slow away, but, um, you know, he, where he ends up in the race, it never compromises in that respect. What do you think of the opposition for him on Sunday? Edward, I'm yet to have a look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been concentrating on our own fella. Fair enough. Of course, here, here representing Godolphin, you've been here on a number of occasions before in your own right as a trainer, but to be here with Godolphin, what does that mean oh. to you and if you could win there? Well, it, it, obviously, it'd be very special to win for the boss uh, in Hong Kong. Um, obviously, Hong Kong racing is the pinnacle of international racing throughout the world, and you know to have a horse good enough is an honour. But uh, to win a race in Hong Kong for His Highness Sheikh Mohammed would be the pinnacle of my career.